lot of what I think about is how can I make clothes that are going to make women feel like the most version of themselves. That's all you want when you're putting something on is to feel the most feminine, the most seductive, the most powerful, strongest version of you. But I definitely think our clothes are transformative. I am from Paris. My dad is French and my mom is Chinese American. And I grew up basically a little French boy. Fashion is such a big part of being French and it's such a proud sort of heritage of French culture. So growing up in Paris has really informed my tastes and who I am as a person. But I don't know that I thought growing up I'm gonna be a fashion designer. There were people in fashion that I looked up to growing up. I loved Tom Ford and I loved Johnny Versace. I think part of what initially inspired me was that they were gay men, honestly. And I didn't really know gay people growing up. And the worlds that they were creating, it really spoke to a lot of my aspirations. And I think it still kind of does to this day. Because I hadn't gone to fashion school, I felt like I didn't know a lot of the basics. So I went to work for a French pattern maker in New York, and that's where I really learned how to drape, and I learned pattern making, and I credit so much of my knowledge to those experiences. The fact that I didn't have a traditional trajectory has given me a very different point of view from other designers. And I grew up surrounded by a lot of different cultures. And I feel really strongly that identity today is multicultural and it's a melting pot. And to make something for me that feels modern and relevant for today, you sort of have to be open to the world. And so I always like to think of the Altuzara woman as someone who is going to Japan and going to Morocco and going to China and going to Spain and going to France and picking up ceramics from one place and textile from another place and a rug from another and who's creating a world in her home and in her life that speaks to her curiosity about the world. And that was a big part of what I wanted the Target collection to feel like as well. We looked at a lot of different references and influences from all around the world and kind of mixed them together and mixed those references to try to create something that felt new. Every single Altuzar collection has tailoring, has like a very sharp-shouldered, very nipped-in-waist blazer. It is, in a lot of ways, the anchor for a lot of my silhouettes. I really wanted to make a suit for evening, um, like a real kind of tuxedo moment. So we used this ruby red Velvet. We did a lot of cuts around the body to really hug the body. What was really exciting to work on with Target was something that felt dressier, like tailoring, outerwear, you know, stilettos. And we really pushed to do high heels, these pointy pumps, just because it's such an iconic shape for Altuzara. And this was one of the accessories I loved the most in the collection for Target. We've designed the collection infused with a lot of sensuality, a lot of femininity, and my clothes are really polished. There's a sense of dressing up. Part of what I was thinking about was how do I bring some of that language to the Target customer who exists, who wants that look. This was actually based on a vintage Romanian blouse that we found, but we kind of mixed the idea of something very French with the idea of Russian or Romanian blouses, and we did these really beautiful sequin embroideries that are stitched on with black thread, so you get this really beautiful kind of design on the front of the blouse. 
I love an animal print, and I've done animal prints a lot in the collection, but it's always, we always do it in a sort of tweaked way. So we found several kind of species of snakes, and we mix them kind of all together to create this like really rich kind of marking. When light hits it, it almost feels like it has like flecks of gold in it. I think design is a really powerful, life-changing tool. When you have well-designed clothing, I think you take more pride in your appearance. You are more ambitious or you strive for more for yourself. Obviously I'm biased because I am a designer, but a lot of it for me is like, our lives are not a rehearsal. We've sort of got one shot at it. And it's like, why not surround ourselves with well-designed things? And I think that's why I was so excited to collaborate with Target, to bring good design to a large audience is something that is magical because it can really change people's lives.